On his day, he is one of the most dangerous forwards in the game and has everything it takes to be a world-class winger. But Luis Diaz's life away from football is one of the craziest things you'll ever see. His relationship, properties, net worth, and everything in between. Here's what you probably didn't know about Luis Diaz. Luis Fernando Diaz Marulanda was born on the 13th of January 1997 to his mother Selenis Marulanda and father Luis Manuel Diaz in Barrancas La Guajira in Colombia. He grew up with two younger brothers in the Los Cerezos neighborhood of Barrancas, a town very close to a mining settlement, which happened to be one of the notable poverty-ridden areas in Colombia. The coal caused a lot of pollution and even dried up the Rancheria River, which was an important source of water for families. The children in the area often suffered from malnutrition and it's probably why Diaz looked like this as a child. Diaz found solace in football at a young age when he was six and took to the streets trying to emulate his idol Ronaldinho. Luis Diaz's father was a proud owner of a football club, Club Baller de Barrancas, and he often trained children between 5 to 15 years of age. Following a failed football career, Diaz Sr. must have sworn to himself that he'll bring out the best in his kids. It's probably why they all play football today. Their mother wasn't always in support of the Diaz brothers pursuing football as a career, but all that has changed now. Luis completed his elementary education before deciding to focus fully on football. When he was a teenager, Diaz was called for a 22 soccer player selection trial in Chile. He only got that invitation because of his YU ethnicity. The YU people are indigenous people in Colombia. Selected footballers were to represent the national team of the indigenous Colombian people in a South American football contest. Diaz was among those who were picked and that changed everything for the Colombian. He dazzled defenders like no man's business and quickly proved that he was a player to look out for despite his slender physique at the time. Diaz's performances caught the eye of Colombian football legend Pibe Valderrama, who would travel with the team. When the competition was over, he vowed to find a better team for Diaz. Pibe spoke to the club owner of Barranquilla FC about Diaz, saying, Please try him. That skinny guy is very good. And as you would expect, 17-year-old Diaz did not disappoint. Also, thanks to a certain diet which included lots of goat meat and pasta, Diaz was able to add 10 kilograms of weight to improve his muscle mass and strength. After just one season in Barranquilla, Diaz would then join Atletico Junior in 2016, making his senior debut in April, and go on to win the Copa Colombia, two Categoria Primera A titles, and the prestigious Super League of Colombia between 2017 and 2019. Diaz made over a century of appearances for the team, scoring 20 goals in the process. A move to Europe was on the cards at this point. Despite having a pre-signed contract with Cardiff City, Diaz signed for Portuguese FC Porto in July 2019 on a five-year contract. Diaz spent three seasons with Porto. Well, actually two and a half because he left for Liverpool midway through the 2021 and 22 season. Having already made a name for himself at Porto with numerous goals and assists, Liverpool were willing to splash the cash for him. 45 million euros with 15 million euros in add-ons in January 2022. And he did make a splash as Liverpool competed for the quadruple that season. Since then, Diaz has shown sparks of brilliance by being direct. We've also seen an impressive work rate and an eye for the spectacular. But a long-term knee injury kept the winger out for almost an entire season means that we are only now beginning to see the best of Diaz, who changed his kit number from number 23 to 7 this season. On the international scene, Diaz made his senior international debut for Colombia in 2018 and has earned over 45 caps for his national team, helping them to a third-place finish at the 2021 Copa America, where he also won the Golden Boot Award alongside Lionel Messi. But let's pump the brakes on all the football and talk about everything else about the player. In July 2023, Diaz got engaged to his girlfriend, Hera Ponce, who happens to be a Colombian model and influencer. The couple have been together for close to a decade now, and their relationship paints a beautiful love story as they've been together since day one. The couple have a two-year-old daughter, but they recently welcomed another child a couple days ago as Diaz found himself in the 25th heaven. Combing through their Instagram pages, you will find a lot of photos of Diaz and Ponce spending quality time together at any chance they get. But for Luis Diaz, the high level of energy that we often see on the pitch continues at home. Someone said that if you paid a visit to the footballer's house, you would likely not leave without him dancing to his favorite music. 
Diaz also loves to travel to both local and exotic tourist destinations, spending time with friends and family. But one thing that stands out is the footballer's love for fashion. You can count on him to leave an impression with his stylish outfits and great fashion sense. The winger is also a big fan of tattoos. He's got one on his left arm and a couple of others. Family is everything to Luis Diaz, so it's hard to imagine what he was going through when both of his parents were kidnapped by armed men on motorcycles at a gas station in their hometown. Thankfully, his mother was rescued by the police a day later. However, a major military search would need to be conducted to locate his father with a reward of up to 200 million pesos for information on his whereabouts. Diaz Sr. would then be released by the kidnappers on November 9th. Shortly after Diaz settled in England, a few details about his new residence were revealed. The Colombian resides in the Matthew Street sector, which happens to be one of the most exclusive in the city, and lives in a mansion that is valued at more than 5.5 million euros. It gets even better when you take a look at the footballer's garage. He has a BMW X as one of his favorite wheels. Here's another one, which is rumored to cost at least $100,000. Diaz also has a Volvo XC40, well known for its high performance and elegance. When you're one of the highest paid Colombian and South American players in Europe, it's normal to live a life of luxury like Diaz, but just how much does he earn? Diaz earns 55,000 pounds per week at Liverpool, which brings his annual salary to just under 3 million pounds. At Porto, Diaz was receiving about 15,000 euros and an annual salary of less than 1 million euros. Although he hasn't usually been one of the highest earners, there are no doubts about what he brings to the table. Diaz has Adidas as a sponsor and has a couple of paid partnerships with other mega brands. Putting everything together, we expect 27-year-old Luis Diaz's net worth to be close to the $30 million mark. To his credit, he spends a good amount of money on charitable causes. Diaz is an official ambassador of both the Passage and Centerpoint dedicated to finding sustainable employment for the less privileged in a bid to reduce the prevalence of homelessness in England. Diaz has also spoken about his family foundation, which offers practical support and financial assistance to many local projects and communities in Colombia. But we also need to talk about some of the controversies the Colombian has faced throughout his career. During his time at Porto, Diaz was once suspended alongside a couple of teammates for breaking Porto's rules and partying before a match. His father leaped to his defense and publicly showed his displeasure with Porto's director of communications, Francisco Marquez. Diaz's father felt that the issue should have been resolved internally and not publicly. Other than this rare occasion, criticisms about Diaz have been few and far in between, especially when you compare him with the average high-profile footballer. But let me ask you, what are your thoughts about Luis Diaz and would you like to have him on your team?